Hi guys, John here. And Jack. Welcome back to an extremely windy day out here on the island. Today, we're going to be discussing range. And we have been doing some testing with the new electronics, the new batteries, and we've got some great results that Jack's uh, put together in a spreadsheet, and we're gonna go through that. All right, so we're kind of out of the wind anyway. Bit chilly. Yep, and um, we uh, have done heaps of testing, yeah. uh, especially when we just got the batteries. I just did multiple days just going at it. Yeah. Uh, I filmed some of it, I didn't film some of it, yeah. um, and so, but, but we have all the numbers. Yeah. And we're going to show you how the spreadsheet works, because after that, you can check out the numbers for yourself, because the spreadsheet is going to be linked down below. This is all real world stuff. And for us, it's been important to get numbers and conditions which represent everyday usage for your average Joe. We've also decided to keep updating this uh, spreadsheet when we feel that, yeah, we've, we've got some uh, new parameters and we're going to measure and uh, keep up with all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that like way- If we change some programming or something, we might do another range test. Exactly. And that way we'll pop it into the uh, spreadsheet you'll be able to understand how that works and uh, get that data and analyze it for yourselves. Now anyway, the first test we did was actually the maiden voyage of the boat. Yes, um, yeah. Which was exciting and I went out and just decided to run it from 100% to zero. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty uh, pr pretty wet if I don't remember, it was rainy. And it's all right ice, it's not super, like, it's a bit sticky as you can see. Yes. But it's fine, it's proper slippery. Anyway. It's been really warm and we had a bunch of rain last night instead of snow. Um, so there's about uh, between uh, yeah, five millimeters to three, four centimeters of uh, water. water up on the yeah. ice. Yeah. I remember I, it was still, you know, pretty sort of calm. There was no yeah, real wind. No, no real issues. And I kept to the ice because I didn't know how the system was going to perform. So yeah. this was the first time. But I mean, uh, I ended up sitting out there longer than I wanted to and it got really dark yeah. really quickly. Yep. It is getting really dark and I cannot see anything it is like crazy this thing just doesn't want to die come on i'm cold and this is actually one of the good things with a spreadsheet because often when you try to remember something you don't quite remember it no. so what we've done is we've recorded these things uh every single day this has happened and we've written it down so we can go back and remember and jack you're going to show us how this works now so the numbers then yes all right well, your uh, the spreadsheet this is how this works over to the left, you have a column called date. That's obviously the date that we did the test on. Then you have driving style and lake conditions. These two are the most important columns to look at because they those two factors are the ones that affect the range the most. So you can see my car, uh, driving style here on the first day. It was calm, I was cruising, and I was keeping steady throttle. The lake conditions, they were good. It was good ice, but a few centimeters of water on the ice and a few soft patches. After that, you get to the weather conditions, which is probably the, uh, the third thing, which is actually going to... Um, uh, impact the range a lot. Often it's a wind and yeah. over here on that day you've written uh, light rain, foggy and, and headwind head one way. Yeah. And then you can see your wind speed, your temperature and then also here all the hardware we were using. You yeah. know you, the prototype you know and love, the battery and what software was, version that was on, the ESC and what version that was on, the motor and what version that was on, yada yada yada. The propeller. Yeah and yeah. also extreme for like I was only one person. So if we now scroll over here this is where we get to the actual numbers. So so together with these two here, you can use these to determine what range you'd get in some conditions. Do you want to walk them through this percentage run column? Here? All right, our percentage run is uh, the status on the battery. So from uh, in the first column here, we, in the first, we've got 100% to 0% according to the BMS. Now the interesting thing here was that we, we actually checked in on the app, which was connected to the battery. It told us you got 100% charge, Went driving until the battery said, hey, I'm at zero. And at that, we jumped into the app and we saw that the BMS was saying, yep, it's zero percent. There's nothing left. This thing is not going to start. We've hit the low voltage protection. Then you've got two others. You can see that once we've run it, when we calculated the percentage from the capacity and one is from according to display. Do you want to say why those are slightly worse, actually? Well, the one which is according to the actual display, the LED display um, is programmed in a way so that 
um, when you're getting closer to zero uh, percent, there's actually a few percent buffer there. It's just so you don't get stuck out on the lake. It's a bit of a safety precaution. It's not much, but it's something to get you home. Yeah. And then calculated from capacity is obviously that we've calculated the percentage that we used from the capacity of the battery. Yes. Um, so yeah, basically in the order of the BMS is the, gives the best stats, the capacity gives the second best stats, and the display, that's obviously going to be a bit off yeah. since it's got that buffer in there. That's the colouring. When you get all the way to the right in the spreadsheet, you can actually see all the fun numbers. Yeah, the, calcula the calculated range, the distance. Your run time. The average moving speeds. Yeah, all oh, the fun stuff. It's juicy, yeah. Now, the only thing you have to know here is that the calcula calculated max range column uh, has got to do with uh, the following. Here we used 100 to 0% of the battery. We traveled 37.55 kilometers. That means that our calculated max range for that trip is 37.55 kilometers. The same goes over here. If you look at this one here, let's just take the 98 to 56%. So we've used uh, here about 42% of the battery. And so what we did is we have then taken the distance we've done and used what's left out of that, and we have a calculated range for you there. Yeah, and that's why those two differ. This is how far we travelled, but if we would have drained the battery completely... In the same conditions, this on is, that day. This is how far we would have gotten. Yeah. Now, all of these are then calculated into averages. So you have your average range over here. So our average range right now is actually 15 kilometres and or 9.5 miles. miles. Yeah. yeah. Now, this spreadsheet is going to be sorted uh, along the calculated max range uh, column, which means that the most range will be up the top and the least will be down the bottom. The reason for this is you can then go over here and check what conditions were there. So you can see the best case scenario, the worst case scenario, and everything in between. All the averages. Now, would you like to tell them about what happened yesterday? <laughs> Actually, yeah, last night was, uh, that was a worst, car, worst case scenario of uh, many sorts, actually. It was one of those nights when I got home, I thought to myself, um, not going to get out on the water like that ever no. again if I know about those kinds of conditions. I now, did, uh, the problem was that we actually went home from work, in, or you went home from work in the airboat, because we're working on an island over here. And uh, so you had to get home. I had to get home with the airboat. But the problem was that when you got out there, it was really bad. So do you want to walk us through <laughs> kind of what was going on? Well, put it this way. It was evening, it was dark, yeah. and um, I got started and there was a really strong headwind. Um, and I was out in this area of water where there was no ice to start with. The waves were about 30 centimeters, so about a foot. And you know, the hull isn't all that big, so there was water coming into the boat. And I wasn't worried, but you gotta keep an eye on things. And Definitely not ideal for that size boat. <laughs> not ideal at all, that's right. But I mean, I knew I was gonna round the island and uh, get into some calmer waters and then get into some ice. Uh, what I really didn't bargain for was that that headwind um, was actually getting harder and harder um, by the minute pretty much. So by the time we got around the island and was heading out over this big wide expanse of water and ice was that wind uh, was reaching speeds of 60 kilometers an hour as a headwind and which pretty much meant you're not going anywhere in the airboat. You're just sort of going, I was doing 60% throttle, 70% throttle just to go forwards at walking speed and crushing through ice yeah. uh, for probably about three kilometers we worked out. Yeah. It was so, uh, such a, a process and it took one hour to go uh, the six and a half, seven kilometers. It yeah, was let's see, what did you do? You did 6.74 6. kilometers. Yeah. Now in those conditions, so yeah, almost 55 kilometer an hour headwinds, yeah. breaking through ice and going through mostly water and ice. Yeah. You'd still, in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> you'd still have a calculated max range of 9.49. Now, Kilometers. that's obviously not a lot, but it should be enough to get you through. I think most people, honestly, on a daily basis, um, just have to look at what your needs are and be very truthful about um, how far you really want to go. I mean, actually, five kilometers one way out there on the lake in the elements, that's, that's a long way. That's a long way. We go 500 meters, and that's why we've decided to stick to making small and lightweight things. Yep. So anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed today's episode and uh, found the documentation and the videos from our range test to be sufficient yeah. uh, so that you can make a um, well accurate estimation of what you may need. Yeah, and thanks for putting all that together, Jack, because it's um, when I saw you doing it and the way you did it, it was very systematic and everything is down to the T. And uh, this is real world conditions which people can really use. You've done a great job on that. Yeah. So really, the reason we're doing this is obviously because you are going to be able to buy the kits. Yeah. We are really close now. I know we've said that for a long time, but yeah. we are. We're setting up the website, and basically now we're just f trying to figure out how to ship this to people, because that's the last hurdle. Yeah. We're really appreciative of all your support, and uh, hopefully you'd love to become one of our pa patrons and help us on the way here. Um, like everything, subscribe everywhere, Send the videos and share it with your grandma. Uh, say good day to all your family. Have a great night. We're out of here. Goodbye. See you.